I'll basically say how I've been using it uh, in my class. Um, so basically, um, firstly I started using Wooshka about mid last year. Um, I haven't had any PD yet, this is my first PD, so if you're all a bit worried at the moment that there's heaps going on and you might not know what to do, you can just easily find a way. Um, I didn't have any PD, like I said, and I've pretty much set all my classes up, all my reading groups and everything, and I haven't had any issues since. So it is easy to work through if you're stuck. Um, there's always, you know, you can always problem solve and find a way to do things. Um, the way I use it is a few different ways. First and foremost um, is for free reading. Um, sometimes it's the kids like some computers and just read some texts. As Louise showed you, I've got my kids set up um, at their level, so if they're reading level 17, I'll have that they can read readers up to level 17 and they can read texts below that. Because um, sometimes they might go back to level 15 text and find a book that they really enjoy, you know, or a different topic like space or something like that. So I really like to use it for free reading. Um, as Louise mentioned, guided reading groups. Um, sometimes you might set up um, the guided reading text and you can send your kids off to go and do that while you're with a different group. And then you can do sort of like a rotation. The kids can come to the floor once they've read the text on Wooshka and you can have a discussion, talk about the quiz results, talk about some of the comprehension strategies that they use to uh, understand the text, and things like that. Um, the Black Line Masters are really good. Uh, I know Sharon will talk to me in a minute. Um, uses them really well. Um, the wordless texts are really good, where the kids can make up their own their own story, their pictures. Uh, word cards, you can break up the text and get them to fix up, unjumble the words and put them in the correct order on the pages, uh, which is really good for lower kids, trying to get them with their fluency understanding. Um, and for the higher kids, um, especially with the narratives, you can get them to, with the, the blank word books, you can get them to rewrite the story in their own words whether it's a fiction text or even a non-fiction text. Um, how else do I use it? Yeah. But yeah, I've been using it for yeah, over a year now, and um, it's, it's very easy. The kids do love getting on there. Um, I've only got 14 laptops in my bank, so the kids that do miss out on that day are a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, that, they'll, get, they'll get a chance, they each get a chance for the week.